Hello YouTube and welcome back to Groundforks. We are continuing with our KSP stock career let's play and uh, I'm just examining my options. In the previous episode we have successfully um, escaped atmosphere. So, oh there's another test swivel engine led into that curve. Heat shield and flight over carbon. I don't like these tests a lot. I think I'm gonna go for the orbit straight up. But uh, let's see administration building. I should be able to do some fundraising. Takes a little bit reputation gains and yields fun. Unpaid research, science, funds for science, plus funds minus science, research rights sell out. So we could act quick back from the science and research the highest bidder commitments. So if I say 30% to that or Minus 25 science. That would actually give us more funds at the expense of science, so it doesn't sound too bad. Let's activate the strategy because we need more cash anyway. Right, speaking of the science, we are at 63 science, so advanced rocketry versus general construction versus flight control that is actually quite helpful for these things and then basic science 45 antenna more science thing experiment storage radiator panels and probe probe cores hmm Well, that would help actually for us that we could get the probe up rather than jab, which might be handy. Would our contract allow it? Possibly. Let's put it. So, rather than sending out jab, active goal, let's see, what is it? Active goal note. Fly vessel up out on the atmosphere as well accelerate parallel with surface until you are stable orbit to achieve this goal. So there is nothing to say that would prevent us. Swivel engine landed at Kerbin. I'll take that one as well. Escape trajectory, heat shield, radial decoupler in flight. No focused observational surveys, so come on, drop those, please. Right, so VAB. Let's construct a brand new, and we will be using this time Probo. Probodobodyne, State Putnik. For that, utility, science, communication. I think. What I want to be doing is, do we have electrical? Oh, we have the batteries, perfect. So, fuel tanks. This will be more of a probe anyway, so let's put like a fuel tank. Is there anything science to be put here? Yes, it is. Well, how about this then? Um, actually, I'm not gonna store the Oh, there it is, a science junior. I think that that would be a little bit hefty, but I have to try, right? Engines. Right, so that would be our electrical. I'm thinking that I'll probably need a bunch of batteries here because this will have a limited lifetime, so let's put it like this and put like six of them. 
because that looks like fun right now communication I will need a way for this to send some data so let's put one and on top if possible there we go perfect let's take a look Righto. So let's call this PRB probe one. Now let's put decoupling. I'm hoping to get this one into the atmosphere. So let's put some more fuel tanks over engineering it clearly engines swivel over here thank you now I need a radio decouplers Well, basically it will be a modification of the same one we already have. Only one of slot modification. There we go. Switch here, here. And then we put some stabilizing fins here. good enough to help us reach the orbit. Kinda. Fuel tanks. I might actually put one more here just for security reasons. Bill, can I actually do action groups? I don't think I can do yet, so yeah. Right. Two, then this, then that. Then this, then, then this engine, and we are not returning that one back to Kerbin, so I think it's fine. Let's try and run it, shall we? Let's go for the launch, Let's see how it goes. So, running the test, thank you very much. Shutting down the engine. Perfect, that fixes one of the experiments. Oh, probe has no operational SAS, cannot engage SAS. Well, this will be fun. So basically I have no control over where it goes. And it's deciding to pitch in that way. Okay, I guess that's the way we're going. not to have control with the probe. Let's go a little bit further up. There we go. 
And I think we're out of fuel, so we might as well decouple that stage. And do I have maneuver nodes? Nope, I don't. That means I'll have to think in terms of... Oh, and I don't have control over this rotating thingy. Well, isn't that nice? So I'll have to use my engine to steer. Well, okay, let's just then activate you, sunshine. Hold on. Yes, isn't this fun? What's the period or epilepsis? 94. So I'm just, I'm gonna eyeball it, but... Oh, I had it. I had it almost. Come on. Click there, you damn you. Okay, pin it. Extend the antenna. Thank you. Right. Here, we're going 86 on the next bus. Let's just... Ah, I need to stage. I forgot. <laughs> Funny enough. Go figure. Right, so... Stage. Alright, uh, come on. Get ready to activate the engine. 93, we are now close to the apoapsis, so I think... Yeah. If I ever achieve orbit with this thing, it's gonna be messy. But we don't care at the moment, so... One fifty four, okay. Maybe, maybe I manage. I did overdid it there a little bit. So let's see if we can get higher up. Our electric charge is slowly getting depleted, but not fast enough. So maybe we just managed to get to orbit, who knows? It will be messy for sure. Coming as close to the apoapsis as possible. Perfect. Now, as far as I understand this, this should be point prograde and then kick the gas to the maximum. Perfect. And that should hopefully secure us in orbit. Which it did. Oh, wonderful. What do we have here? We're recently accomplishments of our space. We have entered orbit. Contract complete. Perfect. Orbit, orbit, orbit. Yes. Wonderful. And then it hit me. I only have this as a science experiment. Observe the materials bay. Thank you. And that's... Let's transmit the data. Perfect. Well... Now let's see if there's something we can do about this orbit. We turned a little bit and I don't want to put too much debris despite the fact that this is the first probe that is ever orbiting Kerbin, but yeah, let's see if we can bring it down in a more order orderly fashion. Point retrograde and then burn. But first we need to take a picture. Nope, this one will be forever stuck in the atmosphere, or in orbit. All right, fair enough. Then at least let's take some cool screenshot while we're waiting with it. And I'm hoping to be able to at least get sort of a sunrise or something, you know, like romantic and glorious. I mean, we are on the dark side at the moment, so... And the reason why you guys are seeing this is because I've cranked up the 
uh, what do you call it the ambient light because um, otherwise it would be just too dark there's no point on watching everything the game this game is too dark for my taste so I might actually reduce this a little bit off camera for the next but um, so it should be darker but not pitch black so I think we're coming towards the sunrise there we go taking screenshots just in case anyway of our first probe in the orbit and incidentally we never took we have never taken the pilot so and there we go I think we will have our screenshot there we go beautiful spamming the F1 key for sure oh look at that so sexy so beautiful Majestic, isn't it? Now, I think we can need to go back to the tri or space center and enjoy all the sweet science that we are getting from these contracts and the money. Because, well, yeah, that's just wonderful. Okay, well, I mean, this has been a short episode. I will be continuing in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. This is Gromforks, signing off.